good evening this is a quick one so I had a day of sessions and um, it's a little bit later in the evening now and I've just got back um, off a really beautiful session that I had with someone I'm so excited and lit up about it but it's just prompted me to come on here and share this message because I just did a past life uh, regression I've been doing some of these sessions and um, I just wanted to, it just made me want to just very briefly come on, just jolt you <laughs> into this remembrance, just to remind you, basically, is why I'm here. Um, do you know how expansive you are? So this is either new for you or this is a confirmation. I feel it so strongly just to share these words with you right now off the back of this session I just did, is that you are often, and we are often walking around in these physical bodies, right? And we're on this earth plane and we get really caught in this idea and story of these limitations. I'm, I'm the same also. Um, we get very stuck in ideas, beliefs, limiting patterns and, and ideas, very small boxed off ideas of who we are, right, and what we're capable of. And it is so easy to forget how expansive we are and how we are, and I say this time and time again, and I'll probably say this for the rest of my life, we are an accumulation of all talents, gifts, experiences, everything, wisdom accumulated from previous lifetimes. We are not just starting from scratch. And sometimes when we forget this, we go into the head, and we go into this very human, natural human persona, right? But it's just part of it sometimes. And we just, we kind of diminish our own power, and we forget how bloody miraculous this experience is and we forget that we are multi i want to say multi fucking faceted is what's coming through right now um hey darren i am glad yes I, i'm back yes sorry um yeah back on live streams we are multi fucking faceted and the problem with this life that we've been leading on this earth plane and we're going through a massive shift right now on the planet is that we've been conveniently programmed through every single possible avenue to believe that that kind of talk talking about soul talking about you know past lives is some woo woo crazy alternative bullshit and actually it is the most fundamental universal truth of who we are and I know that some of you are so, like most of you tuning in here with me on my page, are so on board with that. But there are people that maybe hear that and they feel like I'm flipping crazy for saying it and I, that's fine. Um, but it, enough's enough. We've got to start shifting that, shedding, releasing that bullshit around that's just like a nice belief. This is fundamental truth and I and I've had my own experiences recalling previous things I've done many sessions now where I've tapped into past lives with people it's just the most expansive thing and also I came into this life I just talk about my own personal knowing I came into this life never having learned about past lives it was just something I came in here knowing didn't didn't serve me to forget that part of it so I've always come in I knew this from very young from very small like six years old I was just very aware of myself being here as a as a being that's been here many many times before and expansive and some of you know this already some of you this is just a lovely reminder some of you this is an activation some of you it's it's helping jolt you into into this because it's time now it's like all the crap in the world now that's coming up for us to see a big part of this shift in consciousness is for us to start having these conversations and to start understanding how magnificently powerful we are because we're so steeped in this amazing wisdom from previous lifetimes right this is how expansive we are yeah all part of the control and lies from the evil loonies at the top yes absolutely absolutely so this is what we're shifting through so i just felt like i wanted to come on here and share some of that because i had the most beautiful glorious session just now like a couple of hours long and it was just so delightful to witness another person uh connecting to a part only a small part of a previous life because we've had so many we can't possibly tap into all of that we don't need to but our souls show us what we need to what we need to know so you are expansive doesn't matter what your job title is how old you are how you've messed up in life the choices crazy things you've done crazy shit you've done it doesn't matter because you are here and you have your reasons <laughs> so do i for experiencing what we've experienced but you are understand yourself start to 
I'm literally saying when you when you get dressed in the morning and you brush your teeth and you look at yourself in the mirror and you look at yourself in the eyes, see your expansiveness. Start to look at yourself in the eyes in the mirror and start to see yourself as the soul that you are, you know, because it is inside of you. And once you start to connect with it, you're going to start to feel it more and more. And then you're going to get more intuitive hits. You're going to things will start shifting and you start to activate that. D literally, your DNA will start to be activated and recoded. And a lot of people, they're happy. Like they're kind of having spontaneous shifts and awakenings and activations. Some are having more gradual ones. But this world is waking up, I tell you. So this kind of conversation that we're having would be so basic, like in the future, right? We're all going to know this. It's like ABC. But right now we're in this weird time where it's still not mainstream, but I'm going to talk about it <laughs> a lot more. So that is my message. Yes. I think it's, yeah, you're saying it's strange how some of us never fell for it all. I feel that on that one, it's very much about consciousness. I was having this conversation um, yesterday with someone and it's not about intelligence. This is what, another thing. It's not about intelligence. Um, whether we see through the illusions of certain things going on in the world right now, it's consciousness. And my guides shared this uh, with me uh, this morning in conversation. And they were saying, imagine you're in a room and you're in this direction and you can see this elephant in the room. You can bloody well see it. You know what it is. And you're saying to your friends or family, can't you see the elephant in the room? What is wrong with you? The elephant is right there. But they are standing over there in another part of the room and there's a piece of furniture blocking their view. So they're in the same room as you, but they can't see the elephant that you can see. It's not because they're stupid. It's not because they're refusing to look. Some people are, but, you know, a lot of the times they're not refusing. It's just they can't see it from the perspective they're standing on. So instead of us getting annoyed at them, which was part of a natural process we've just got to start to understand now that people are seeing it from different angles and if you're somebody who can see the elephant in the room then it's because you're you're just here as being part of the team who see it first and walk the path first so well done <laughs> and hang in there all right so that's what it is yeah it's it's not about intellect right we've seen some of the most educated people with loads of letters after their name and you know the the consciousness is the level of consciousness so it's just about understanding it's not about anyone being better than anyone it's just perspective we also got to take into account kind of topic of this uh, live stream is we are not all on the same playing field we're not just because we're all in this lifetime we don't all have the same like levels of experience right some of us have been through different types of lifetimes and we've trained for this or we've experienced certain periods in humanity's history of bullshit right some of us have some of us haven't some of us have done it a lot some of us have had different types of incarnations and lifetimes so we kind of can't have those conversations without without bringing in the fact that we are multi-fucking faceted <laughs> it's my new phrase that came out today um that's what we are, right? We're multidimensional. So this is, it's like we, we're starting to see that we can't really separate these parts of the conversation. And I love it. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm here for all of it. So that is it. I'm feeling very excited. It's like, even though it's late and it's a long session, I get really um, like energized by doing this kind of work. So I love it. I love it. But I'm going to go now. I'm going to just go and ground and relax <laughs> and uh chill out and uh yeah just i love it i love this work and i love how expansive each and every single one of us really is and it's always about coming back into the truth and remembering starting to remember now who we really are who we really are beyond the labels and the identities and the beliefs all right so i send you so much love Mwah to all of you thank you for joining me and watching the replay if you are watching the replay say hello because i love to know if you're here joining me in any way and i will be here tomorrow as promised okay so i will see you then bye for now